my bank account which I, or and my mutual funds etc where i have a lot of my money i don't have anywhere close to this security but this meta mask when i had opened it and potentially i will have some money of value i'm doing so much security value right is this even worth it the experience was very daunting yeah. What, what have you done about the like the ma massive usability issues in blockchain, right? Uh, especially when uh, when I see that you're going to mobile, I I see that they might be enhanced by a lot because storing private keys on mobile is like much much harder. Um, not a lot of people know about how to handle their funds properly. Not a lot of people know about MetaMask still. still. Mm. So how are you going, how do you plan to solve this? Because I I would say there's no there's very little relation between the traditional gamer and the traditional web3 enthusiast right now mm. so they're going to there's going to be a lot of learning on both sides where web3 people go into game so how how are you going to do that so uh, see the way to solve it is we initially got people to connect their metamask mm. uh, the problem we occurred is people were like what the hell is metamask right? <laughs> and so there was the whole learning experience and then the first time you come across oh i have to open a metamask and i have to get my seed phrase like when i opened my metamask account Took me seven days because when I asked people like I'm I'm st gonna so store my seed phrase, we were like, oh, you got to save some parts of it and distribute it everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So I put one in my nani's house, I put another in my sock drawer, I put another <laughs> where I, I don't want to say where it is, right? And <laughs> and it just felt like the whole experience was like James Bond. I'm trying to store stuff because I didn't even know. Like, and and I kept wondering during this whole time that oh, my bank account which I or and my mutual funds etc where I have a lot of my money. I don't have anywhere close to this security, but this MetaMask when I had opened it and potentially I will have some money of value. I'm doing so much security value, right? Is this even worth it? The experience was very daunting, yeah. right? Um, so what we are doing is um, we are actually integrating our own wallet. So we are using this service called Web3 Auth, mm -hmm. uh, which is a company which is providing this for many many uh, yeah. games, including uh, Sandbox as well, right? Um, and we're using that service to create our own internal wallets. So when people sign up uh, an account like they do in Web2 games, like they open using email and password, they'll actually get a wallet created. Uh, as far as their interactions are concerned with Zionverse, all their NFTs and all the value will automatically get into the wallet. Mm -hmm. And that interface will be very easy. Right. Now, obviously, they own the wallet. They can start using that wallet to substitute what they can do with MetaMask. And that UI already exists. But of course, that that education is a little tougher. Mm -hmm. But our first step was to actually solve this for people coming onto Zionverse, and they get a UI which is as easy as it is in the current Web two apps. Mm 